peace happen now. Now is a vibrate, of course. We're not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. Right now. Oh, look at that. Even this little camera getting a nice little detail on it. I want to speak a little bit about lion's mane mushroom. And before I get into it, you know, uh, I'm not the expert on mushroom, which let me not say, let's just say that, you know, it doesn't take extremely extensive studies for me to pick up on certain information and know that certain information may be the truth, you know. So, you know, I, how can I say, uh, even though not being the, the expert, so to speak, on this, you know what I'm saying, uh, there, there is a few knowledgeable things I'm going to speak on, you know what I'm saying? But again, as a matter of fact, for things that I may not be able to explain in this video, you know, you could go research on your own, you know what I'm saying? My videos is not for you to watch it in essence and just, of course, again, enough for you to, to know what lion's mane mushroom is and know some of the health benefits. But again, to go deeper into the aspects of it, you know, you want to do some more research. But I'm going to definitely, you know, uh, come with a nice bit of information right now, though, you know. But just had to put that disclaimer out there, you know, because I think about, I did that video about key, what it was, Kiwana, Melon, stuff like that, you know. And it just be sharing in the moment sometimes. Like, you know, if, if I had to perfectly know all information before I did a video, I probably wouldn't have, I'd probably be doing my first video for the first time or you know what I'm saying? I never do a video possibly, you know. It takes a, a long time to, you know, master all kind of knowledge. But long story short, the lion's mane mushroom, you know, it actually looks like a lion's mane. Uh, as a matter of fact, no coincidence that the lion's mane, you know, the head of a lion, you know, uh, the lion's mane is good for the brain cognition. As a matter of fact, also I even wrote out a little diagram. I came across this podcast with uh, Paul Stamets, Paul Stamets, P-A-U-L-S-T-A-M-E-T-S. -E you go look him up. He was on Joe Rogan show and he uh, brought up a few things about it. But basically, he was talking about how great it is for Alzheimer's. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, it helps to regenerate the, the myelin uh, on the axons of the nerves. Okay. See, I got a little scientific for y'all, you know, got the... This is uh, the myelin, you know, this little area. And basically, uh, let's see. We got... Uh, I was trying to see if I did define it. But I didn't. But basically, uh, myelin is basically like a little uh, fatty protective tissue, you know, over the neurons. And let's see. Matter of fact, this body itself, this area, you know, uh, starting from this area, is the axon. You know, I got it written, axon. This is the axon terminal on this end. But basically, so again, uh, the lion's mane helps to regenerate myelins around the uh, the axons of nerves, and it helps. Uh, so the de the de the demyelination of the neurons uh, allows for amyloid plaques to build up. So basically, you know, the lion's mane helps protect the, the, the neurons from, uh, from amyloid plaque, you know. And basically, uh, amyloid plaque, matter of fact, I got some of this information from brightfocus.org. But amyloid, amyloid plaque, which A-M-Y-L-O-I-D, plaque, P-L-A-Q-U-E-S, <laughs> is a general term for protein fragments that the body produces normally. Beta amyloid is a protein fragment snip from an amyloid precursor protein or APP or app. In a healthy brain, these protein fragments are broken down and eliminated, but in Alzheimer's disease, the fragments accumulate to form hard and insoluble, insoluble plaques. <laughs> so basically, uh, what happens is the, uh, the myelin area deteriorates and matter of fact, I saw a picture of it, but like, say for instance, like in between the neurons in certain little areas, you have the plaque buildup. And it's basically, you know, uh, blocking 
the neuron synapses. If you're blocking the neuron synapses, you know, things ain't, uh, you know, popping off as quick. Matter of fact, check out my video on uh, neuroplasticity uh, and uh, neuroplasticity. That's probably the only one because I'm thinking about uh, neuroplasticity and how our brain, you know, uh, as we do different activities and learn new things, you know, our brain create these new pathways, you know, but uh, not going too deep into that. You know, again, lion's mane uh, helps with that, that brain cognition health. And matter of fact, the brain cognition and nervous system, uh, in essence. Uh, Dr. Komagishi in the 1990s was uh, one of the first, you know, again, from, you know, what, one of the first, because again, it is acknowledged that way, like the indigenous beings, you know, uh, on this plane of existence, been dealing with lion's mane, but, you know, commercially, you know, Dr. Komagishi in the 1990s acknowledged the lion's mane for his brain health. Uh, the different types of lion manes, uh, you got like hedgehog, bearded tooth, uh, they call them pom pom mushrooms or pom pom blanc, blanco, meaning pom pom white or white pom pom because it look like a white, you know, like some pom pom. Yeah, go team. <laughs> but uh, it's also called Yamabushitake in Japan, which stands for uh, monkey head mushroom, you know, in which in Yamabushitake. You can see the word uh, shiitake in it as well. You know, yama, uh, Y-A-M-A-B-U-S-H-I-T-A-K-E. And there's also uh, the scientific name for the lion's mane is Hericium irenaceus. You know, uh, my fact, spell that out. H-E-R-I-C-I-U-M, then E-R-I-N-A-C-E-U-S. But uh, basically, uh, this is the aspect that really, you know, helps with the brain function. It also deals with hericinones. Uh, excuse my uh, pronunciation, but I'm going to spell it out so you could, again, go research it. So I gave the disclaimer before the video. <laughs> hericinones her and ar aranacins, you know, basically kind of like stemming from the name I just said, but hericinones, H-E-R-I-C-I. H e r i c e n o n e s, and then uh, aranacins e r i n a c i n e s, and these uh you know help with the stimulation of nerve growth, uh, or basic stimulation of nerve nerve growth factor the N G F, you know uh, which promotes the secretion of small protein neuropeptide molecules that nourish the neurons, inducing uh inducing their maintenance, development, and survival rate. So, you know, it just helps for the all-around health of neurons as well, you know, keeping neurons healthy and uh, also maximizing the growth of neurons, you know. Uh, and of course, this is gonna impact, you know, thinking, memory, and behavior, you know, so Lion's Man would be great with, uh, in combination with Ginkgo Biloba as well. As a matter of fact, the brethren Paul Stamets had uh, on the Joe Rogan show, he spoke on how they had an experiment with some mice in a maze and, you know, they had uh, the food if they went one way and no food, they went the other way. And they, you know, before anything, they knew what was going on. Then they got poisoned. And I got a pause right there because that's how, you know, in essence, if a people's want to treat, say, for instance, other beings on this plane of existence as like animals like all oh, they ain't shit we could experiment on them they make them seem like they're an animal because they see oh that's just a mouse i could inject it and kill it how i want you know that's that egoic mind frame and that overly scientific mind frame instead of tapping into that pineal and and asking how self how this lion manes work you know what i'm saying people poisoning you know and killing rats you know because they're not you know, they're less a life form, so we could kill them and test shit on them. Just how the government or uh, certain people kind of uh, develop this mind frame within themselves so they could be able to oppress peoples, you know, on this plane of existence. But again, the experiment with the mice and the maze, and basically, uh, you know, after the mice went through the maze, and you know, with they normal way, you know, the sobriety, the sober mind, in essence. Hey. And then after that, so they injected them with a toxic polypeptide, 
to induce amyloid plaque. So again, the amyloid plaque that uh messes with the uh the myelin, you know, the myelin again. It uh deteriorates the myelin and then the plaque just be building up like, you know, on the outer areas of neurons as well. As a matter of fact, uh let's see, where was I? Where was I? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, with the uh, mouse experiment, and they injected them with the toxic poly uh, polypeptide to induce uh, amyloid plaque, and basically, you know, that messed them up, so they all was, like, not knowing how to move, you know, uh, was going the wrong way, you know, uh, kind of, you know, discombobulated in so many words, but then later, they fed those same uh, mice some lion's mane mushrooms for, like, a few weeks, and then they... You know, after those few weeks, they shook back, almost back all the way to normal, you know. Uh, but again, you know, uh, showing that these, you know, lion's mane, I was about to say chaga mushroom. The lion's mane mushroom is very great for the, uh, you know, for the neurons, neur uh, neuron health. And also, uh, let's see. With the her herosinones and uh, ranocines, again repeating that part, stimulate stimulation of nerve growth factor promotes the secretion of small protein neuropeptide molecules that nourish the neurons, inducing their maintenance, development, and survival rate. Acting as a neurotropin, these components are found to greatly encourage the restoration and performance capabilities of the brain and nervous system. And also you get to see, hey, you know, straight from source. It's not going to make you fart out your eyelid or bleed out your ear or have to depend on another medicine. You know what I'm saying? This is all natural, you know, so it doesn't harm in any type of way, form or fashion. So, again, you know, instead of uh, helping your brain with some, you know, oh, I take Vyvanse or I take, you know, some type of shit that's basically poison that has nothing to do with the biological makeup of your, you know, our body suit, you know, uh, letting these doctors lie and basically turn you into a customer because after you take that Vyvanse or that, uh, what's that other one, Adderall or these little different things and you back taking something else to get off of it or, you know, are you catching withdrawals when you stop? Are you in that mind frame of, oh, I can't go without my medicine? Because, and I don't mean to clown people who stuck in that mode of feeling like they can't go out without their medicine, but it's like, damn, like that shit chemically, you know, binds you on a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? And again, you get to see that I would rather, you know, uh, if there are withdrawals from lines, man, I'd rather have, you know, uh, natural withdrawals than, than that. But of course, I'm just uh, bull corning because, again, uh, you know, like oranges, fruits, vegetables, you know, there's no uh, withdrawal factor that is extremely harmful to our body suits, you know what I'm saying? So, unlike these uh, poisons that they uh, constantly try to sell you social socially engineering and subconscious programming your mind on these commercials if you're always watching that te television you know uh the tv you know it's always got hey take abilify take peroxonice or take claritin take this it may do like they even got some shit i forgot the brethren from henry from goodfellas he, he he uh supporting the, the brethren who played Henry from Goodfellas, if y'all familiar with the movie. But they got some drug to quit smoking. This helps you to quit smoking. Motherfucker, man up and stop smoking. Or eat something healthy, you know what I'm saying? Some bullshit, I'm going to poison my body to stop poison. I'm going to poison my body to stop from poisoning my body. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be clear, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck the dumb shit. And, 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 and if you think I'm bullshit or talking outside my neck, then research... If you still in that darkness of thinking that prescription pills help, go compare it to healthy remedies, you know, like as far as like eating natural fruits and vegetables. That's why another thing why, you know, places like a Walmart and stuff like that don't have like foreign exotic fruits and stuff like that. Because a lot of those are fruits from different places that have like that stuff where this, this, uh, fruits and vegetables in America don't have. Well, no, they got other fruits and vegetables, you know, uh. And natural remedies that will help you for whatever you're deficient in you know 
but again if i'm a drug dealer trying to make a customer then i'm gonna you know tell you uh anything to have you coming back to me and as i'm speaking on the healthiness of this lion's mane and uh you know uh just the all around health in general always remember you know because i'm a i'm a magician and alchemist at heart you know uh of course like we do have the ability the placebo effect you know what i'm saying i ain't saying go out and eat the most unhealthiest things in the world but also don't become dependent extremely dependent on that mind frame of like oh, i have to eat everything all gluten free and uh you know non-gmo or i'ma die like you know what i'm saying like nah you know use a little alchemy of the mind but you know just want to uh share that aspect because that's most aspects that never be shared when people speak of health you know but again i i see why though too because people are just uh their egoic mind to grab that information and then uh be like well i'm gonna just eat unhealthy you know what i'm saying and use alchemy so with that being said that level you know that takes a uh, constant work for that level of alchemy you know what i'm saying to be able to transmute the harmful energies of certain foods but you know it is possible you know I, I don't like to eliminate our our infiniteness you know what i'm saying like and again it's just like a uh, cheat codes you know so say for instance we in this game you know we all agreed upon this game when you playing san andreas you know you you agreed to go with the the way the program is set up the game you know what i'm saying like the mission set up a certain way you going along with that you agreed to it once you turn on the game but you know as you become adept with the game or you know how to get other knowledge stuff like that you find these little cheat codes you know and uh you could use these cheat codes aka you know the alchemy of food once you get to that level but say for instance the way this game is being played you know as souls as a collective consciousness and souls before we came into this material form we like hey you know uh all things that come from you know the plane of existence aka earth we're going to deem is very healthy for our bodies and anything manufactured uh that doesn't come from you know nature that's going to harm our bodies do we agree upon that you know what i'm saying it's like that you know what i'm saying come down here in this plane of existence and you know again so we you know uh eating healthier food stuff like that because we agreed upon it on the collective conscious level you know what i'm saying if we all decided that like if some way form or fashion everybody developed a mind frame to think that honey buns had the same amount of uh that that honey buns had the power to decalcify the pioneer on a higher level than any other you know natural things if we all collectively agreed upon that then honey buns would be the most detoxifying thing you could eat you know what i'm saying but again that's on a collective but i just also had to share that because i know how uh again like i don't like to eliminate that ability of magic and alchemy you know what i'm saying but at the same time we do have agreement in this little matrix that we're going you know in order to bring light in the body i gotta deal with things that have that certain level of light uh and just a few uh other aspects on the chaga mushroom it uh helps to preserve and expand cognitive function you know uh it's basically high in polysaccharides, so it's great for the immune system. Go look up polysaccharides if you're unfamiliar with it. Uh, you know, with what they do. As a matter of fact, I haven't took a, a science class in a long time, and I remember that name, but again, like my disclaimer from the beginning of the video. <laughs> it also is good for uh, a good antioxidant, but not like uh, the chaga mushroom, not as effective as the chaga mushroom, but still an antioxidant nonetheless. And go check out my video on the uh, chaga mushroom as well, you know, to because uh, I speak on that a little bit uh, too. And again, it uh, amplifies the growth of new neurons, and it also benefits the digestive tract as well. And back to that that fact again of uh, regenerating the nerve growth factor. And also dealing with these uh dealing with these mushrooms you know they kind of like uh again mushrooms uh unlike other plant life has a, a, a anatomy that is very close to humans and we think about you know human like if a human freezes up you know uh how could i say we less active we're not feeling the fullness of our body you know in essence like 
let's just say all of our nutrients not fully activated if we all froze up matter of fact the nutrients not even allowed to move in the body if it's all frozen you know what i'm saying but what i'm getting at is uh the chaga mushroom i mean the uh, lion's mane mushroom is a uh, you know unlike fruits and vegetables it takes a little heat to really activate you know how fruits and vegetables if we heat them up too much it takes away the uh the healthy benefits you know that's why I like you know again uh i don't knock i tile or food where like you know fruits and vegetables where people cook it down cook it down but again we are uh taking away a lot of the nutrients when we cook food down too uh you know too long but with the and matter of fact shiitake is like that as well but shiitake and uh lion's mane you have to heat it a little bit you know to actually uh activate the uh you know all the health benefits and health factors all the nutrients within kind of matter of fact kind of like uh like sprouting seeds and nuts and i did a video on sprouting as well i did a little i think it was a little quick fast i did on uh sprouting uh seeds basically like you could just uh like where you got sprouted almonds cashews or uh different be beans and seeds were basically you know letting it sit in water you know and matter of fact with the child i mean with the lion's mane mushroom as well you know uh you either steaming it or heating it in water you know what i'm saying almost like a tea in essence you know kind of like yeah exactly like a tea in essence like where we really activate you know that rarbus that yerba mate those uh healthy factors of those teas by actually heating it in water you know and that water allows for those nutrients to expand as well and in the, in, the, in the heat you know so all right speaking of and i did a video so check out my video i did on live enzymes uh, if you again just search universal frequencies and live enzymes i think it should pop up but uh but basically how you know you know a live enzyme has a torus feel but after overheating you know that certain uh fruit or vegetable and you know those, that that uh that live enzyme and that torus feel breaks and busts and there's no longer living and there's no longer nutrients from it you know but uh say fence the lion's mane has such a tough cell wall that again, you know, it takes that actual little uh, heating to actually activate those uh, nutrients. You know, and uh, also to, to get more into the the discoveries of like uh, the growth factor, talking about that nerve growth factor, you have uh, Stanley Cohen and Rita Levi Maltalcini, 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 Rita Levi Maltalcini. Might be a little Ashkenazi Jewish lady. As a matter of fact, oh, let me spell it. Stanley Cohen. S-T-A-N-L-E-Y Cohen. C-O-H-E-N. And then a Rita Levi Montalcini. Rita, of course, R-I-T-A. Levi, L-E-V-I dash M-O-N-T-A-L-C-I-N-I. As a matter of fact, uh, they won a Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Peace Prize for uh, for the discoveries of the growth factor. And again, as I say that, just like I brought up how the, uh, the doctor uh, Komagishi, uh, I don't know if I had the correct spelling. That's why I ain't spell out that one. <laughs> uh, you know, they they get acknowledged for hey discovering this and that in the lion's mane, but realizing again that indigenous beings been dealing with you know uh, lions manes and mushrooms in general it's just that the, the mainstream media don't you know don't want to give don't want to give any props to that energy because they don't want you you know they don't want you leaving the pharmacies and all that you know they want to keep you uh keep in a certain place so uh so to speak so but at the end of the day you know uh lion's mane mushroom it's one of the best, uh, you know, one of the best mushrooms for brain health and uh, neuron health, nervous system health, and uh, brain cognition. You know, so if you're looking for uh, some help in that area, matter of fact, anybody uh, dealing with memory loss, Alzheimer's, you know, again, uh, and another thing to add to this too that is also good in combination with this but as a matter of fact the brethren paul stamets brought this up and i saw it somewhere else too so that's why i'm bringing it up but vitamin d you know uh basically uh niacin uh also good uh as well but again this 
just me sharing, you know what I'm saying? Cause I could could have sat here and said, until I become a mushroom specialist, then I'm gonna do a video about, you know, lion's mane. But it's the May master. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> of course, jokingly said that you know we do want to make sure we uh attain enough of knowledge dealing with certain uh you know things like uh you know with mushrooms or crystal or whatever we uh researching but you know uh we don't have to be the master of the knowledge of it in order to share information on it you know what i'm saying like because say friends as much as i know about crystals i'm still not the master of crystals you know what i'm saying and know every single thing about every crystal in order to talk about it well damn none of us would be able to fucking talk in essence you know what i'm saying like we all would just be Matter of fact, if we had to go off of the vibe of copywriting and what come first on the extreme, we all wouldn't be talking because the person who created talking would be like, I patented talking, so everybody else shut up. If you're not me, you cannot use talking. You cannot use a certain language because so-and-so created it, you know. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> That's basically it, you know, the... I, I keep wanting to say Chaga, but the lion's mane. So beautiful. You know, and, and nothing wrong with taking. I've been taking little bites of it. Kind of got like a little strong mushroomy taste. But the texture of it, definitely, which most mushrooms, you know, like meat. So a good meat substitute, you know. Well, when I think of meat substitutes, I think about like actual natural things. Like I don't deal, with, you know, with that tofu stuff like that. Only time I deal with tofu or anything of that nature, that soy bull crap, is when I'm cheating on my diet uh, in LA. When I'm in LA in Hollywood and I'm going to Doomies, you know, <laughs> some good old unhealthy fetal estrogen soy. <laughs> but again, I be. Is that vibe of like you know once in a uh, time, but I do realize you gotta acknowledge you know like hey, I know I'm going to eat some shit that's going to uh, demasculinize me, <laughs> you know it uh to a certain extent mess with my health, but that's why it's called cheating on your diet. <laughs> but that's basically it, y'all. I think I covered mostly uh you know the basics of it. From there, you know you could go and get some uh deeper knowledge and research but definitely peace happy now now is the vibrator of course not too far in the future not too far in the past oh. right now you wonder why i'm i'm looking back i'm making sure because they be having a lot of traffic in this store and i got my book sack and all kind of stuff out so i keep an eye Peace, y'all. Now the vibe.